Alola and happy Halloween, my Pokemon fans. We got Spider, we got a ghost, we got plushies up the wazoo, <laughs> as usual. Oh, by the way, this guy here, this is Icoon. He's from Macross Frontier. A really, really awesome um, anime. And I hear they've come out with a new Macross series, Macross Delta. I'm going to need to look that up. And this is I did the Hedgehog. <laughs> I like hedgehogs a lot. But today, you wouldn't believe the cool, interesting things I hadn't seen in ages or ever before that I found at my local Walgreens. So I found a Flareon tin, like a small mini tin. There's Evolutions. They only had the Flareon. But I picked this guy up. I'm not sure when, when these guys came out, but we're going to open up this Flareon tin, see what's inside. Very cute. I like that promo a lot. And then I found this um, pin blister with a break point in it and um, Fates Collide, I think. I'm not, I can't tell from here. Uh, with a Mega Gengar coin, which is really cool. The only thing that would be cooler if it was shiny. Because everybody knows shiny Mega Gengar is that white color. But yeah, I'm going to open these two guys today for our Hidden Gems episode. Because I think they're interesting. Stuff I haven't seen in a while. Forgive this brief cut. I keep getting phone calls. I need to do this. I think it's just the time of the day that I happen to be doing this one in the last video. Or the last the, the last opening, anyway. Not I don't know if it's the last video yet. Because I think I'm going to put stuff in between. But um. ah. At least you can still see me opening the package. <laughs> so it is, yep, a Fates Collide. I was right. A piece of plastic valuable item um break point and what happened to Gengar where did Gengar go oh <laughs> there he is <laughs> a really cute little neat looking mega Gengar coin and this is a coin I never I mean not coin I keep saying coin I mean pin pin I didn't have all right, so just set you right there. All right, so let's just get involved. Let's get into these guys. Break point. There is a code card. Green card, of course. No, we got lots of stuff to open, so hopefully we'll get at least one good pull. Slowbro, Perugly, um, Scissor Spirit Link, Hone Edge, Shelter, Timple, Ducklet, Glammeow, Reverse is a Max Potion Trainer and a Radicate. All right, Fates Collide, come on. You know what I'd like? I'd like the Auto Note EX. I have the Mega. I want the regular. The regular's got this cute little sitting down with its hands, head in its hand. It's so cute. But no such luck. That's life, I guess. All right, what we got? We got, ooh, I love this guy. I love Zygarde. Zygarde, Wormadam. Fossil Excavation Kit, Snubble, Seal, Bronzor, Cottony, Burmy, Wormadam Reverse, and a pretty Lucario. This should be a hollow. I don't know why it's not. All right. Flareon Tin. Whee! No, it's in Copyright 2017, so it's not that old. I must have just missed them entirely or something. I don't know. Let's open this guy up. If nothing else, we do have the cute little promo card and that awesome pin, so, and the tin itself. I stash all sorts of random household stuff in my Pokemon tins. It would be really cool. Well, I'll, I'll pull it out later. Um, you guys can see. It's very cute. Um, I don't know what I was going to say was going to be really cool, to be completely honest. Um, <laughs> so we got a Fates Collide, Ancient Origins, and Roaring Skies. That's some some good sets. I think that um, a lot of people use their Pokemon tins to store their Pokemon cards, but I use my larger Pokemon Elite Trainer boxes and such to store mine. So I use the tins for random household items. 
and I have so many <laughs> tins though I'm running out of things to use them for. Like I have one where I keep all my batteries and there's one where I keep like small kitchen utensils and things like that. But <laughs> there we go. And another quick cut because I'm having issues today um, with cutting, um, but this is the Fates Collide and it's nothing exciting as you can see. Unless, unless there's a break. I forgot about breaks. Chinchino, Shuckle, Fairy Garden, Minchino, Carbink, Fenner, Solosis, Ooh, Zygarde Reverse Rare, that's pretty good, and a Snorlax. All right, Ancient Origins, just get some Rayquaza action. I love me some Rayquaza. I'm pretty sure that the code cards were all white at this time, so it'll be a surprise whether we get anything exciting or not. I think I saw something. I'm not sure. Tyranitar, Spiriting, Link, Sableye, Metang, Quagsire, Ah, Meowth, Spinarak, Porygon, Unknown. I always chant Unknown like in the third Pokemon movie because I'm silly. Uh, Sableye, Reverse, Uncommon, and... Oh! Now that is something good. I know it's only a half art, but hey, it's a hollow Porygon Z. Love it. This is cool. I like this a lot. I, I am really, really happy with that pull. Now, shaming anyone? <laughs> I don't think it'll happen, but wouldn't that be the coolest? Here. I'll be generous. I'll share a Roaring Skies code. Maybe somebody can pull a shaman on the computer. If you do, let me know in the comments. All right. We got a Dragonair. Steven. Silcoon. Cascoon. <laughs> Look, Silcoon's uncommon. Cascoon's just a common. Un that is not um, how it is in Pokemon Go, by the way. Every single Wurmple almost always evolves into a Silcoon, or at least that's what happened to me. I evolved like four Silcoons before I finally found a Cascoon. It was crazy. Um, yep. Pineapple. Gligar. Shove it! Reverse Silcoon and a Talonflame regular. But, hey, I like Talonflame. Talonflame is cool. And I don't know if I have this one or not yet. It looks... It doesn't look familiar. I think I have a lot of the um, normal type talent flames, but I don't think I have a lot of fire type talent flame cards. So nothing super ridiculously exciting, at least in in the traditional sense. But but I found found this to be a very fun opening because we got our cool Gengar pin, our Flareon tin with the very cute Flareon on it, very nice Flareon promo card. As well as a Zygarde Reverse Rare and a beautiful Half Art Ancient Trait Porygon Z Hollow card. It's so shiny, too. Just look how shiny this is. And the shininess like outlines the um the Porygon like some kind of aura or something. <laughs> Speaking of auras, how come Lucario was in a hollow? Oh well. <laughs> there we go. So with that, I will. Bid you guys adieu, later gators, and we'll catch you in the next episode, whatever opening that may be. I'm hoping that maybe soon I'll be able to do a 100 subscriber special, but um, keep my fingers crossed for that one. <laughs> All right, later gators. Mm -hmm.